But what kind of lineup do you see? Do we – I'm starting to see, like, I, the way Killian and Hami have been playing, there's no way Alec Burks takes Hami's minutes, right? It's, we're probably who, – who's going to be the odd man left out? It's hard because I know, like, you looked at the lineups, like, the Pistons were playing Bagley and uh, Durin together because, obviously, they still want to have two big men on the floor. Um, you, you even had Sadiq and Isaiah Livers play the 3-4 together and then Hami out there with Killian. So, I mean, it's really hard. Unless they get away from the two big lineup, I mean, I don't really see where you would – you probably – stop Sadiq from coming off the bench and you would make room for Burks and Isaiah Livers together because um, you need that scoring off the bench. I mean, obviously I like Kami. He's a really good slasher, but like, you know, perimeter wise, he's just not the shooter Burks is. So you still think Kami is the guy, um, the guy out of the, that falls out of the rotation? Cause I was looking at it this way. You have the starters and then you have Duran Bagley, Livers, Diallo, Hayes, and Burks coming off the bench. You get six guys mm -hmm. that all deserve minutes, but based on the way they're playing. And I mean, Alec Burks and Marvin Bagley, it's just they've been doing it in the NBA for a little while. Like, you're not going to ignore them. You're not going to just have them sitting on your bench and not play them. But the Pistons have, it's a good problem to have. You have six guys that can play meaningful minutes off the bench. Who is the odd man out? I think it's a fair question. You're saying, Hami. Yeah, I, it might it might be Hami, even though him and Killian have played pretty well, and I love his slashing ability, getting to the hoop, but I can't see them taking minutes away from Marvin Bagley or Duran off the bench. Yeah, like I said, the only only way they could really have all of them on the court is you got to stop playing the uh, you know the four fives together with Bagley and Duran. You kind of have to make up your mind what you want to do uh, at the power forward and center position because. I think if you would have a Hami, a Burks, a Killian, a Livers, um, I think it would make more sense offensively because we all know Duran isn't a three-point shooter yet. I think he could develop it over time. Um, Bagley, like, I think from 15 feet out, he can at least hit the rim. He can graze the rim, but I don't think he's the shooter. So I know they're experimenting with, you know, a, a 4-5 combo of Bagley and Duran, eventually they want to do Duran-Stewart. But, I mean, it's just experimenting. I, I just think, you know, offensively, if you want to have your bench flowing, you're, you're going to have to, you know, to stop the experiment. Experimenting for now, maybe do it in practice more. Maybe, you know, they can gain more experience and, you know, play off each other and build chemistry. But for now, I would just stop it completely. Stopping the big man lineups, the two bigs? Yeah, it's just... Unless someone's just going to become a, like a knockdown three-point shooter, like Stewart is the only big man right now that where it would work. And you're not going to, you know, put Durin or maybe you put Bagley in there with Stewart as a 4-5 combo. But even then, it's just kind of like help side. You know Bagley uh, is going to need the help side like probably 80% of the time because he's not the defender Durin is. So I, to me, it's just experimenting at this point. And I, I just don't think you, you should be kind of, doing those types of lineups when, you know, it's it just hasn't proven to work so far. Yeah, I think if you're going to go too big, you got to have Isaiah Stewart out on the floor all the time.